BT, I've got young onset Parkinson's, but there's more than one type of young onset Parkinson's. There's tremor dominant and non-tremor dominant. Try saying that really quickly. I am non-tremor dominant. 30% of people with Parkinson's don't have a tremor. Instead, we have the predominant symptom of feeling very, very sore and very, very stiff. And it starts on one side and it spreads to the other. I, I get a lot of pain in my intercostal muscles, a lot of pain in my joints. If I sit in a chair for an hour, I am the tin man when I get out of it. Now, obviously, it's not a competition. Both types of Parkinson's are awful. But I do have this kind of rigid body syndrome that comes with a non-tremor dominant type of Parkinson's. I think that it can swap and change as the disease progresses. But this is the challenge that I am facing, particularly at the moment, as are many of you. And my question is really, what do we do to exercise well, even though our bodies are often stiff and sore, even when we're on the meds? And I think we need the conversation around the fact that there are different types of Parkinson's and the disease affects us all differently. We're not all going to be able to be gymnasts, even though we've got Parkinson's. We're not all going to be able to be endurance athletes. It's just a fact that the disease is going to affect us all differently. We should all exercise, but we're going to have different progression and a different outworking of the disease. And working out how we combat that one size isn't going to fit all and i think we need those conversations